Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I have an exciting Integrity Toys review to share with you guys. I have a brand new doll that just started shipping about a month ago. She is the gorgeous modernist Eugenia Perrin Frost. She is a 2018 W Club exclusive and she was one of the three upgrade dolls that we were allowed to buy earlier this year. For those of you guys who are not Integrity Toys followers and are probably wondering what the hell this W Club thing is, it's basically like the Barbie fan club but for Integrity Toys. You sign up for it once a year, um, enrollment opens up in January I think, you pay a fee and you basically get access to exclusive dolls that are only available to you as a member of the W Club. And then pretty much all their releases year round are first seen by the W Club members and then the general public. They sell out really, really fast through their distributor network. And a lot of the times it's all uh, the W Club members who end up buying the dolls. If you guys are interested in joining the W Club for next year, um, I'll post a link down below where you can go and like sign up with your email address and then they like let you know when um, enrollment opens up. And then I think you have like a couple of weeks to join and then you also will get uh, an upgrade doll selection. For this year it was one fashion royalty, one new face doll, and one Poppy Parker doll. I have both Eugenia Perrin Frost who is the modernist doll and then I also got Eye Candy Reina Amati. Uh, she's a new face doll and I'm super super excited to get into her as well so you guys will have to check in uh, next week or so to see her. Without further ado let's get into a modernist Eugenia Perrin uh, Frost and see what she's all about. I have also seen that uh, they are doing brand new boxes this year for all the collections. <gasps> oh my god. Oh wow, it's rose gold. <gasps> so chic. A gorgeous metallic trim and a really nice white box. I think it's white. Um, sort of like a soft white, almost off whitish, but and then the sides here have this really cool. Uh, unlocking it, locking a mechanism. So that's interesting. Are we ready? <laughs> One, two, and... <gasps> oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, she's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so check out that really beautiful face. Ooh, yes. Uh, Eugenia in this darker skin tone. <gasps> you guys, it's really working, huh? Really, really working. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, a very, very interesting long-sleeved uh, coat dress here with a bit of a wrap to it as well. Um, quite the peekaboo opening here. I see some metallic boots in the back. I see her little purse back there. So excited to get into these accessories. Also here, a new feature I noticed on the sides that I saw uh, the designer Jesse Ayala talking about on his Instagram were these ventilation holes here on the side. The silica gel has been moved into these little side panels here. So if you're seeing these perforated holes here on the side, like little air vents, that's actually what that is. So I think that's pretty cool. I really love this like mauvish rose goldy um, interior. So she lifts up in her inner carton just like so. And then there is the box right there. And then her certificate of authenticity, which just fell out, is right underneath that. There it is right there. I see that they're doing new certificates this year. There's like a really cool little seal on it. So cool. She is tied down with this really, really beautiful uh, kind of rose colored ribbon that kind of matches this whole rose goldy decor. Oh, gorgeous. And they've also moved the uh, telescoping portion of the stand back here on the inside. So the inside of the doll is quite streamlined now. There's not a lot of uh, stuff there except for what the doll comes with and her accessories. So, okay, it's a really interesting design. I'm here for it, sure, why not? Back here we see her stand that now um, pulls out from underneath here, just like so. It looks like the accessory pack is now glued into place here. Um, I can't seem to take it out at all. It's like really, really in here. So uh, there is now a little ribbon pull here that I think we pull up to reveal what's inside. So let's take a look, shall we? <laughs> One, two, and three. <gasps> Cute! I see her beautiful little earrings uh, in silver and her ring and her sunglasses, super adorable. And then her extra set of hands are in here as well. Now this is the compartment that we would have seen her shoes and her handbag. Um, but in this case, 
Her handbag is actually uh, taped back here. Here we go, her gorgeous boots. Wow, you guys, these are beautiful. This color, <gasps> everything, every, everything, gorgeous. And then her little purse in here. What a cute little purse. Oh my God, so adorable, love. It looks like she will come undone from her ribbons here and then we should be able to slide her right out. I think she is ready to come out and we Ah, yay! Her hang tag is also changed. Uh, it's now kind of the same as the color story that's happening in the box. Beautiful white and rose gold tag. Cute living. I'm gonna go ahead and take her knee guards off, just like so. Here is modernist Eugenia Perrin Frost, fully dressed in all of her accessories. And wow, 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 you guys, she is just truly modern and futuristic and so chic love those big bold earrings on her love her beautiful sunglasses in like a deep charcoal color her hair color her skin color is so beautiful the makeup is so fab and this ensemble truly truly is magical on her i mean check out that peekaboo slit Honey. I love the little details on her coat dress here. There is a sweet little uh, buckle right there and then a pocket there as well. The whole thing is tailored so, so beautifully. It's like a soft powdery blue and uh, the shoulders are so structured and lovely. Her chic little purse here is an exact duplicate of the Chloe pixie bag. Her ring is beautiful. I love her manicure. Her boots are just so fierce and so freaking amazing. It's like liquid metal. And we even see a little bit of her toes and her little pedicure peeking through. Here she is from the back. Beautiful long hair that is blunt cut all the way straight across. Uh, not much of a hair do per se, but it's just nice and sleek and straight. And then uh, the hem on her coat dress here is finished off so beautifully. And then here we are uh, in the back, we see the back of her boots and that gorgeous stiletto heel. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at some of Eugenia's pieces here. The boots do zip up and down fully, ta-da, just like so, and then she steps in and out of them. Oh, so freaking amazing. The dress here uh, comes off in the back, okay. Oh my God, you guys, it's fully lined. <laughs> oh my God, and she has little undies on. Oh, cute. Here is our girl of the hour in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her fabulous physique here. So Eugenia in this beautiful A-tone skin color is so magnificent, no? Her face really is magic. She has those signature beautiful big elongated eyes that Eugenia has. Um, we see streaks of blue and light blue, kind of a sea foamy blue, charcoal black silver in her eye makeup delicious she does have applied lashes there we can see on the side just like so her highlight is definitely on point and those brows are amazing the way they kind of like fade in oh love big beautiful uh, glossy pout there in like a bordeauxy mauve color it's a little bit darker on camera um, than it is in real life beautiful hair as well nice and sleek and shiny uh, the hair color is called Dark Espresso. It comes down just to her bum there. Beautiful hoop earrings here with three big studs in them. And then she does have one ring as well um, that goes on her, at least I put it on her right hand, but it just does not want to stay on, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. It's a silver ring with a bit of a stud detail on it. She has a beautiful manicure and pedicure as well. It's kind of hard to pin down what exactly it is. In some lights, it looks kind of silver. In some lights, it looks kind of gold, but I just love that contrast against her skin. By the way, this is her um, carrying hand that she comes with. I clipped it on so that she can hold her purse. And here is her beautiful pedicure. I mean, just delicious. Here are her sweet little underwear. Um, it's the signature um, FR underwear that we see in a lot of um, Integrity dolls. It's a gorgeous uh, kind of a mocha-y color which blends into her skin beautifully. She does have the FR6 body that we have seen um, before. We saw this body in our 
previous Eugenia. We saw it in Jordan and uh, we saw it in Vanessa Parent's Bell of Kindness back there. Here is her beautiful little dress. It is a long sleeved wrap around coat dress with a very revealing peekaboo detail here at the bust. When I saw this, immediately I was thinking of uh, Tom Ford. I was thinking of a recent off-white collection. I really, really love all the panels here. The princess paneling is so beautifully done. It gives this piece such a beautiful shape and it hugs her body so nicely. The sharp tailored shoulder here is such a great little touch. Love that it's long sleeve. Here is what it looks like uh, when you lift the front flap up. It does go all the way around, so there's no chance of a wardrobe malfunction happening down here. Um, up here is a little bit of a different story because sometimes it does move around on her bust. There's a little pocket here as well. Um, does it open? I don't think it does but it does have a beautiful welt pocket opening detail there which we love it is a round neckline here that sits closely to her neck and then we see that a lot of different panels have gone into creating this the sleeves are set in separately we have a whole line of beautiful silver hooks here one two three four five six gorgissimo with six little thread loops here and then a beautiful light blue silk facing in the same lining fabric that we see on the inside here, a beautiful lustrous uh, silky lining fabric. Gorgeous. I mean, the sleeves are like fully, fully lined, you guys. Unreal, right? We see the lining um, meeting there at the hem, and then we see her little IT tag just like so. Here is her beautiful little handbag. It is very much inspired by the uh, Chloe Pixie bag because it looks exactly like it. I am not mad about it because I love the Chloe purse, so I am all about it. The handles are uh, detachable here. They can be clipped on and off just like so. I actually think I will leave this shoulder strap off because I like the way the purse looks without it. Uh, beautiful silver handles that are fully functioning and then the purse of course in true integrity style opens here a little bit of a struggle to get in but there we go fabric on here feels like a faux leather uh, and then we see a little bit of silver faux leather here adding to the trim to give the bag some dimension little um, faux leather buttons around and then the same uh, color of strap going all the way down the bottom of the purse. Here are her oh so chic, futuristic, very, very modern boots. They are a thigh high boot with a fully functioning zipper. It does go up and down quite easily. So that is very, very nice, just like so. The inside of the boot is not lined, but we can definitely appreciate the craftsmanship here. This is the backside of this beautiful faux leather that they have used. It is like a gorgeous liquidy metallic blue with a lot of silver in it. And then the heel and platform portion of it are a slightly different blue. Um, I kind of like the way it looks. And the entire uh, outsole and sole of the shoe are painted black. Here are her sweet little sunglasses. They too are definitely in a very, very cool silhouette. Black lenses and like a matte charcoal gray frame. They are metal actually, or they feel metal. They don't feel like plastic and they have a nice uh, bit of resistance to them when you open and close them. Just a lovely little piece. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous modernist Eugenia Perrin Frost. She is a 2018 W Club exclusive, uh, which means she's available to all W Club members. If you get a chance to um, see her IRL, oh my God, she's magnificent. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Eugenia and I are heading downtown to the meatpacking district. We are invited to a fabulous party for Diane von Furstenberg. We are on the VIP list, obviously. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Eugenia here in New York. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next week for another video. Okay? Bye!